Finiket Fagadi, representing the Florida Times Union in Jacksonville, Florida. Serena Kef, will you please join me here? Right. Every once in a while, we meet people who have such purpose and heart that the biggest problems we can imagine no longer seem so insurmountable. Serena Kef, I think you're one of those people. You told us how much you love physics and all things science and about your will to solve some of Earth's most important challenges, overcrowding, the depletion of global resources, desertification. And you have your eyes on the next frontier as a possible solution, colonizing Mars and then maybe even Kepler-186f, an Earth-like planet about 500 light years away in the constellation Cygnus. I can see it now. The year is 2076, and you're presiding over the first annual Kepler Interplanetary Spelling Bee <laughs> in a galaxy far, far away. In the meantime, I know you're focused on making this world better, too, and education is a big part of that. One of your role models is Sal Khan, the founder of the Khan Academy, an online education platform. You love Dan Pavenmeyer and Jeff Marsh, who made learning fun when they created the iconic Phineas and Ferb, that my son loves so much. And you always demonstrate such sincere appreciation for all the teachers who helped you along the way, especially your fourth grade teacher, Miss Walker. On your way to this seventh place finish, you nailed words like citerion, which you had never heard before, is that right? Acrodromus and Moshav. And we loved watching you sing the periodic table on ESPN. For that, we salute you to the tune of $2,000, your seventh place prize from the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Congratulations. <laughs> Can I have Mitchell Robinson?